Hello friends, good morning everyone. Welcome to this overview session on e-learning courses. NCA Consultancy and Training Division has designed and developed these four e-learning courses on energy efficiency, namely general aspects of energy management and energy audit, energy efficiency in thermal utilities, that is called, uh, we call it as a thermal energy auditing course. The third one is energy efficiency in electrical utilities. It is also called uh, electrical energy auditing course. The last one is energy performance assessment for equipments and utilities. This is highly specialized for, for covering all the energy intensive manufacturing industries and uh, major equipments performance. A lot of ISO uh, test has been conducted for evaluation of performance and benchmarking figures. So, <clears throat> dear friends, now let us look into the uh, second course that is energy efficiency in thermal utilities in details. Energy efficiency in thermal utilities that is called a thermal energy auditing course. It is uh, highly applicable to aspiring energy auditors, energy managers energy engineers, thermal engineers, chemical engineers, environmental engineers. They are all working in various industries and also commercial buildings and process industries, energy intensive industries. So it is very useful for them to become a thermal energy auditing expert to provide a consultancy as well as the suggestions. Moreover, the candidates from all over the world, from many countries, they can register this course, they can study well, because the energy is a common subject. Every country they use a fossil fuels and, uh, and fossil fuels, thermal energy costs become one of the major uh, portion of the operating cost of uh, an organization. Now let us look into the learning objectives of this course. Uh, at the end of the completion of the course, the candidates or aspiring energy manager, energy order consultant will be able to understand the properties and combustion characteristics of uh, all types of fuels like oil, coal, gas, agrofuels, etc. He will be able to understand the basic combustion principles, efficient operation of the equipments, best practices, and also the performance evaluation of all uh, thermal equipments like boiler, furnaces, cogeneration systems, all steam using equipments, heat exchangers, etc. So the candidates will be able to conduct by himself individually a thermal energy audit in all industries. And he'll be also able to identify energy saving opportunities in confidently and become a thermal energy expert. And uh, this course will be also helpful to qualify any energy professions examinations at the first attempt uh, from any countries like a CEM, CEA, CMAP, etc. Dear friends, now let us look into the course director and instructor, that is myself. Uh, my name is Dharma Ligam. I am an accredited energy auditor, having uh, three decades of experiences in the field of energy auditing and uh, training. I myself conducted more than 450 energy audits in large and medium industries and uh, trained more than 20,000 engineers uh, in various countries. Uh, first, now let us look into the course content and coverages, uh, how it is uh, organized and uh, uh, what are the subjects or uh, curriculums are included in this uh, course so that all the aspects of uh, thermal energy related subjects are uh, covered. So in this course, thermal energy course or thermal energy course, there are nine chapters. Namely, the fuels and combustion, boilers and steam system, furnaces, the high temperature furnaces, both oil fired and electric fired furnaces, insulation refractors, and the fluid speed combustion boilers for uh, uh, combined heat and power generation boilers, cogeneration system, tri generation, tri generation, etc., waste heat recovery, and heat exchangers. Now, let us look into the details of the, each of the subjects so that the candidates will be able to decide and what is going to learn exactly. In the first and combustion chapters, you will be dealing with all types of fuels, coal, oil, gas, biofuels, and the properties. That is the significant properties and the combustion characteristics and the uh, controls and system drafts. So <clears throat> you will learn about some chemical engineering experts, thermodynamics experts, and heat uh, generation, heat transmission, and heat transfer theory. The next chapter is called boilers and steam distribution system. 
In boiler, you have a variety of boilers, steam boilers, small boiler, packaged boilers, oil fired boilers, industrial boilers, and fuel fired, solid fuel fired boilers. And finally, you have thermal power plant boilers. So all type of oil, uh, boilers are covered. And how do we energy audit in a thermal power plant? Fire and megawatt power plant, how do you do it? Uh, energy audit uh, to, to reduce the, or to assess the heat rate of the power plant. Similarly, if you see the steam distribution system, a number of components are there, like condensate recovery systems, and heaters, air heaters, and heaters, coolers, condenser, evaporators, etc., piping designs. So steam trap is another important chapter. So the whole lot of uh, the steam distribution system systems are covered. The overall energy efficiency of the system, that is the thermal energy system, utilities, the fields are covered. And you'll be able to know how to conduct a thermal energy audit in all these utilities. The next area is furnaces. That is a high temperature furnaces, both the fuel fired and electric furnaces. In addition to this, you also cover insulation to factors, the important components for a role. Uh, it is taking for um, uh, heat loss reductions. So you will know about the how to conduct the uh, efficiency of the uh, furnaces and uh, identify the energy saving option in these areas. The last section, it includes uh, FBC boilers, production with combustion boiler and cogeneration plant and waste heat recovery systems, heat heat exchangers. Here, number of commercially, economically viable heat exchangers are uh, covered, like a heat pipe, heat uh, wheel, a uh, uh, cellar to heat exchangers, spread heat exchangers, etc. So friends, now let us look into the core structures. So far, you have uh, learned about the, what are the subjects that are covered in these uh, courses. Now, how are you going to learn it? What is the learning approach in the e-learning platform? Because uh, you are going to learn uh, through the e-learning platform by yourself, self-learning purpose. So how it is user-friendly for yourself? Let us understand these uh, slides. The whole subjects, nine chapters of this uh, thermal energy auditing course, from fuel cell combustion to heat exchangers, are sequentially arranged. And each chapter, you see, there are two parts. The part one in general deals with the basic principles and um, uh, some of the formulas, theories, uh, etc. The second part is important, application part. That is how to do energy audit by yourself. What are the instruments are required to measure the parameters? How do you look into the uh, gaps and identify the energy saving measures? Finally, how to give a recommendation in each and every areas. So all the chapters are divided into two parts. Each part has its own video presentation with animations, etc., for a clear and a quick understanding. At the end of the video PPT lecture session, you also provided your interactive multiple choice question for your self-evaluation check. So that's how it is organized, all the chapters. So for your guidance, there is a course features are given. A step-by-step -step learning approaches are provided. If you look at these six steps, the step number one for each chapter, you have to study the introductions and learning objectives. And second part is the video training, PPT presentation and case studies, lecturers, you have to listen it. And third component is a self-evaluation, interactive course. You have to answer these some of the questions for uh, uh, more understanding of the subjects. Then you have also have a question and answer section. If you have any doubt while going through the subjects, and uh, you can put your uh, question <coughs> in the discussion board. Then the uh, fifth component, you have a chapter assessment, a model test for the entire uh, syllabus. And finally, course materials also provided for further references. Uh, then uh, after the completion of the entire chapters, you also have a course evaluation test assignments uh, before giving a uh, certifications. First of all, let us see uh, how actually this is organized in an e-learning platform. In somebody is joining this course and uh, how he is going to learn it. So here is an example is given. Once any candidate has registered this course and he will become a member and he will allocate a dashboard for himself. So this is his dashboard. In his dashboard, he will have all the courses purchased or registered in his uh, dashboard. So if you click this, so one of his course registered, for example, the 
the energy efficiency in thermal utilities, it will take you to the it will take you to the main page like this. So this is the main learning pages, and it contains uh, the chapters list arranged in sequentially. If you look at the left hand side, let us look at here. Here is a chapter and slides download if you want, and part one is a video, and uh, part one quizzes have uh, four uh, multiple choice questions. Uh, so here you have a two part, one is a 24 minutes and 34 minutes. You have to plan to uh, spend this time to understand this particular subject. So you have an enlarging facilities and you can uh, uh, get the, all the uh, details of the video one lectures and understand the concept. Once you complete this session, it will take you to the next part that is called uh, multiple choice question or a self-evaluation check. So you have some four or five questions will be there based on the previous video lectures and you can answer one by one. So if you make a wrong choice or if it's not correct, it will be the answer, correct answer. So that's how it is a very interactive and you can learn then and there. Then you also other features. So features like, you know, uh, create a new post that is a question to answer. You can put your doubts, etc., uh, in this forum and you will get the answer afterwards. So, in addition, you in addition to the discussion forum, you also have some download section. So, all the presentation materials are available in a download version. You can download for future references. So these are all the main features. So, friends, finally, let us summarize the whole course highlights. So any candidates has registered this course, we can start immediately on registration because it is available all the 24 bar 7 hours time. You can learn anytime, anywhere, any location. So. And uh, this uh, to complete this course, at least you require some 12 hours of time. Then you can repeat any number of times because it is available to you all the time. Uh, under the completion of the course, uh, all the chapters you will receive. Uh, certificates. Now let us uh, see who can register the course and uh, to whom it is highly applicable to this course. So there are three categories are listed. The first one is uh, all practicing engineers and managers from all type of industries, maybe the manufacturing industries or commercial buildings or even institution. Those uh, who are uh, going to appear or wish to appear the Certification examination or any proficiency examination in the regulator, they can attend this course. In addition, any professionals working in their organization and want to reduce the energy bill in the organization and do the conduct energy audit by himself, it's the right courses. And the people can attend from anywhere in the countries. The last category is a faculty and students from institutions, they can attend this course for their upgradation of knowledge and skill, and also for better employment opportunities. So dear friends, this course will teach you everything you need to know to work as a professional energy auditor, energy manager to conduct a specialized course on a thermal energy auditor. So friends, what is the benefit of this course to summarize this? For aspiring energy auditors, energy manager, they can qualify the uh, energy purposes examination the first attempt itself. It will help you to Qualify it. The next category is for a consultant, it will enhance his consultancy job. And the next one is for a faculty and students, it will improve the knowledge and skill, practical uh, uh, set of skills for better employment opportunities. And finally, any practicing engineers, they can reduce their energy bill, carbon for production reduction, and contribute the climatic change mitigation and sustainable development. So, friends, thank you very much. And if you have any clarification or more information, please contact, please mail us, nsilconsultant at gmail.com. Thank you very much.